In this video, we'll show you how to set up Cloudflare to improve the speed and security of your website. Cloudflare provides a content delivery network. When you activate Cloudflare for your website, it becomes part of Cloudflare's global network of data centers. This network speeds up your website as visitors receive a cached copy from a server that's in closest proximity to them. Less network hops means faster load times. We'll use one of our domains, hectohas.com, to show you the entire process. You should, of course, use your own domain when making changes. Before you enable Cloudflare service for your website, we recommend that you first set up an SL certificate for it. If you're hosted with ICDsoft, you can activate free SL certificates for all your domains and subdomains from the control panel SL slash HTTPS section. You should have in mind that the wildcard option doesn't work when you use Cloudflare, and you should only enable certificates for the individual host names. The next step is to sign up for a Cloudflare service, and that's really simple. Just go to cloudflare.com, press the sign up button, and you'll see a really simple registration form with just two required fields, email and password. Enter your email and set a strong password to proceed. You receive a verification email from Cloudflare, so make sure to follow the link in it in order to complete the process. There you go, your email address is now verified, continue to the dashboard. Press the Add Site button, enter your domain and click on the Add Site button again. On the next page, you see the subscription plans offered by Cloudflare. And you should be able to do just fine with their free plan, which is listed at the bottom. You can see that it also offers DDoS mitigation. So let's select it and press the Continue button. Now, Cloudflare will start scanning your site for DNS records to import automatically into your Cloudflare configuration. Once ready, you should see a list similar to this one right here. These are all of our existing DNS records and Cloudflare offers the option to copy them over to their DNS servers, so you don't have to recreate them manually, which is pretty nice. One very important thing to note here is that you should delete the default wildcard record, the one with the asterisk at the top. It could leak the IP address of your origin website on our servers, and this may allow hackers to bypass the DDoS protection of Cloudflare if your site is under attack. Instead, you should add separate A records for each subdomain that you use. You should now click on the Add Record button and add an A record for mail that points to the IP address of the server. The IP address is available on the left pane of the control panel of your hosting account. A very important step here is to disable the proxy status for that particular DNS record. That's because Cloudflare's default configuration only allows proxying of HTTP traffic and will break mail traffic. When you are done, you should click continue. You will now have to change the name servers of your domain. If your domain is registered with us, you can use the administrative panel to change them. You can access it from the marketplace tab of your control panel. There, you will see this account panel section and you should press the login button. If you are accessing the account panel for the first time, it will prompt you to set a new password. Since I've already done that, I just logged in directly. There. Under the Hosting Resources menu, select Domains and now press the Manage button next to the domain in question. Now click on Name Servers and just copy and paste the name servers of Cloudflare in place of the existing ones. Have in mind that such DNS changes usually require up to 24 hours to propagate worldwide. Now that you've updated the name servers, go back to cloudflare.com and verify your changes by pressing the Done Check Name Servers button. At that point, Cloudflare will ask you to make some additional security and performance related changes. Under Improved Security, you can safely keep the option Automatic HTTPS Rewrites turned on. The next security option, Always Use HTTPS, you can enable it as well. Under Optimize Performance, Auto Minify, We'll recommend that you leave these settings disabled as they have the potential to cause issues with some websites. It should, however, be safe to keep the broadly compression enabled. After you finish, you should see the overview screen of your site at Cloudflare. You should have in mind that the DNS configuration of your domain is now hosted by Cloudflare. If you want to modify your DNS records, you won't be able to do so using the DNS manager of the hosting account control panel. Instead, you have to make all DNS changes at Cloudflare. 
If your website is under attack, you should enable the under attack mode toggle available on the overview screen. And that's it, you've now configured your website to use Cloudflare.